Hi, it's Andy again, and I have another Android tutorial today that um, we're going to focus on material design again. And uh, with this tutorial, we're going to do um, the new toolbar, which essentially is going to be uh, replacing the action bar. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to replace the action bar, uh, insert our toolbar. Uh, it's actually not going to look any different. So why would I want to do this? Well, the toolbar has a, a couple of key features that the action bar uh, doesn't currently support. Um, for one, you can change the height of the toolbar pretty easily. Um, it's designed to be very customizable uh, where you can have uh, uh, many menu items. You can use it. Um, as an extended view, I don't know if uh, you have seen the new um, Google Books update that uh, I actually received it today that I noticed that they're definitely using a toolbar instead of an action bar. Um, a, a lot of the new Google apps, maybe, uh, Gmail uh, 5.0 ver version has a, a toolbar. Um, so we're going to start using that and I'll, I'll show you how to implement it in this video. And we're gonna. There's two ways to implement it. You can just have it as, um, you know, a, a standard view, or you can set it as the um, action bar itself. So I'm gonna sh set it as the action bar here, uh, and show you the key steps that you're gonna have to do, as well in your theme in order to um, implement it without any errors. So first thing we're gonna do is since we're not gonna do this, uh, deal with any of this code, we're gonna just delete it. Okay. Sorry, my cat's playing in the corner. So we're going to now implement the toolbar. And uh, since I'm using the support library, we want to use the support toolbar. Now, I don't actually have the toolbar. Um, in my view yet, so let's add that. So let's go back to our activity. Let's get rid of our floating action buttons since we're not going to be using them. All right, so uh, let's change this to um, let's change this to a linear layout. That. One thing we need to do with the linear layout is set its orientation and vertical. Okay, so now let's add our toolbar. That's android.support.v7.widget.toolbar. Now we need to set our, our width and height. So width is going to just match the entire width of the of the of the device and set our height. So there's a neat little trick. Since we're going to use this as our action bar, we can set it as the same height as whatever the default action bar for that device is. So we're going to do a question mark ATTR action bar size. Okay, so this is actually uh, physically there, but we don't have any color. So let's set a color. So Android. So we're setting it as our primary color. All right. Oh, and I have to give it an ID since we're referencing it. Okay, so if we go back in our main activity, now it's all set up. So actually, let's get rid of all this code that we don't need anymore. But we're not actually using it yet, so let's use it. 
So uh, action bar activity has a nice little um, uh, method called uh, set support action bar. And it's a, it specifically takes a toolbar. So now we're all set. Our action bar has been replaced with this toolbar here. But if we were to try to run this, we'd actually would get errors um, because we haven't told the system to not use our action bar. So we can't use two action bars. So it actually would crash. I can show you that right now. Let's try running it on a device. And I'll show you the, the specific error that you'll receive. use our Nexus 5. Okay, so this is going to be using the L. I uh, couldn't remember which emulator I had, so this will be using Android L or Lollipop. Okay, so see we have this error. Uh, let's see if I can find that error. Yeah, okay. So we get this illegal uh, state exception. This activity already has an action bar supplied by the window decor. Do not request window.feature action bar and set window action bar to false in your theme to use toolbar instead. So let's do that. So we're going to pull up our theme, which is in our styles, and we're going to change this quite a bit. So let's get rid of some of this. It's redundant. Okay, and we have to add a few more items. measure let's make sure we tackle all of our bases with this window action bar so we'll, we'll do it without the Android preface on there as well the reason for that is one of them is for a support library the other one is actually for um, the default uh, theme so or for the regular library so uh, I can never remember which one it is. It doesn't hurt to have both, so I'm including both. Uh, actually, I'll do the, the next item for our next tutorial. The next item, we're going to have a spinning um, menu item, which is one of the cool things that you can do with this toolbar, which is why we're switching it out in the first place. So that'll be the next tutorial. Uh, next thing I have to do is change a few things in the style um, here as well. So, give me one second. Actually, This actually looks like it's probably for the next tutorial as well, but we'll include them.
helps if I could actually type. Okay, so now we have set our themes um, for both our um, lollipop and pre-lollipop. Oh, I actually have to change this. So the parent is actually going to be um, our app theme. So we'll change this to be base. Her. Sorry, keep that one as app theme. Dot base, and then I'm just gonna be Okay, so now when we go into our, our XML, we'll make sure we're referencing the, that base theme. So now when we run it, Let's see what I messed up here. Okay, so I figured out what I was actually doing wrong. Uh, first, we're going to name this as our app theme.base, and we're going to also reference a theme uh, just called app theme, and it's going to be thick on the parents of uh, app theme.base. All right, and the reason for that is also we need to add to this theme on the version 21. So the things that we're adding that is different are these um, five items here. Now this actually probably applies more to um, the next tutorial, but I couldn't remember which one these actually go to. So um, as you can see, we're referencing, we're calling this one app theme. It's also going to import all the stuff from the from the app theme base that we have here already. So technically, we don't really need the color primary, color primary dark. Um, we can get rid of these two items as it shouldn't matter. Um, this navigation bar color is only applies to version 21. So we'll keep that and let's run it. Now I already have it running. Um, also in the Android manifest, I had changed it to 
take on app theme based I changed it back to um, app theme so now when we run it see so now we have our toolbar which is replacing um, the action bar and uh, notice we have this kind of gray color background and that's because we have no window so in the next tutorial we're gonna put in a drawer layout a spinning hamburger icon below it um, and then also resolve this uh, dark window issue so stay tuned stay tuned for the next tutorial as well as I will be building up on this one all right have a good night